We are all part of family systems. You, me, everyone. Changes to those systems can have a profound effect on us. I'm at my wit's end, Sam. I almost called 911 last night. I'm sorry. You know, everybody can relate to families that have issues. Who doesn't? The show is a mixture of a lot of different things. Ultimately, I think it's a drama that deals with relationships. If you can take very close relationships and then do something so that the people are in unusual situations, all kinds of interesting sparks start to fly. Especially when we're looking down the barrel of a serial killer. He's forced to face a lot of things that are going on in his personal life and reflect on them. In the show, they do that by using flashbacks and dream sequences. He loves his wife dearly. She recently passed away, so he's still in the throes of intense grief when the story begins. Hi, Ezra. Hi, Dad. It's Mom's guitar. Mm. I figured you should have it. You're the only one in the family who plays, so. I don't play anymore. For Alan and his son, there's a lot of unfinished business. He's in the midst of a rift with his son. I'm upset too, but we need to let him be. Oh, please, don't tell me you don't hate this just as much as I do. He's rebelling. Beth, everyone does it. You really get to see the tension in the family that plays out where he starts in terms of his perception of what's happened with and is going on with his family will be very different than where he leaves. And that ends up being a reason for him to persist and to try to get out of that situation alive. Unlock me. I don't have a key. Call the police, then we can help Sam. Please understand, I'm not like him, but I can't turn in my own son. The show certainly deals with how Sam was impacted by how he was raised, and his father and his mother. The serial killer and their mother, there are sort of cliches about that that almost invariably are about the crazy mother was so nuts that she created a crazy serial killer son. One of the reasons that I didn't want to go into therapy was because I know it's all mothers, mothers, mothers. My mother is not my problem. And that didn't interest us. So we asked ourselves, what if she just loves her son the way all mothers love their kids and it means she can't turn him in? I have kids, a son and a daughter. They need me just like he needs you. I know this isn't right, but you have to help him. It's ended up being the most interesting part I've ever worked on. What we tried to write and what she's so beautifully realized is a character who loves her son, who struggles with who he is and what he does, who also wants to see change. As we get to know her better, we understand the damage that's been done to her as well. He was always a very physical man. I think Sam and I- He was an asshole, it's pretty simple. Sam and I took refuge in each other. There's a lot of history here between mother and son. The untying of some of that drives a certain amount of action. You are bonded to each other. It's very moving. And also the ways in which at this point it can't really be unwound. Yeah, I'm gonna do this Wait, now. wait, wait. Candace, get down here right now! The show has a mixture of intense suspense and also family drama. It makes for a lot of fireworks. Oh, Sam, stop! <laughs> Mom, go back upstairs. No, you listen to me, stop right now. And the fact that they've combined these two things is what makes this really special. You are supposed to be protecting me by not doing this. This one deserves it. Go to your room, right now. I don't want to. No, no, no! Oh, God.